Hi everyone and welcome back to or back to my channel. I'm Veronica and this is my channel for my horsey adventures. I would be very happy if you took the time to click on the red subscribe button. Also, if you click on the bell, you will get notifications whenever I post a video. I'm also an ambassador for Horseplay Apparel and if you find something you like on the website, you can use my code VERONICA10 and get 10% off. A new fall line will be out soon on that website. I'm very excited for it. I would also be very happy if you took the time to follow Ruben and I on Instagram. Yeah, let's get on with the video. So after around three years, I decided that I needed to change out my barn backpack because the old one, which was a noble outfitters slash noble equestrian um, backpack, it's so disgusting right now. I just stuffed it in the storage room because ugh, yeah, I don't want to use it anymore. Uh, it. Yeah, it's really disgusting. My birthday is coming up and for early birthday present, I have a new backpack today that I'm gonna show you, which I got from my mom, my brother and my brother-in-law because this was on the little pricier side. So I got it for my birthday, just a little earlier than my birthday. My birthday is on next Monday, September 5th. Anyway, I'm going to show you the backpack and what I've got in it and a full review of the backpack, which is this one. This is a Kevin Groom bag from the brand Maya Dolores. And Maya Dolores is one of my, well, my number one brand of equestrian apparel and accessories like the leggings, I love, I adore the leggings. So horseplay apparel and um, my Dolores is just my favorites when it comes to horsey uh, apparel. Anyway, I'm gonna get into this baby. Whoa! <laughs> so yeah, this is the Kevin Grown bag from my Dolores. It's, the what I like about this one is that it seems a lot, a lot smaller than the other one. It is not that massive, but it has, exactly the same storage if not more so let me just change the angle a little bit to see if i can show you it in a little bigger yeah so i think this is a little bit better angle anyway this is the bag from the front uh it says my other love is right here and this one is just like the um, Noble Outfitters one, this is Velcro, so you can buy like different patches and put on the bag. And it says, eat, sleep, write, repeat. So let's just start in this compartment because it's easier to show you while sitting like this. So this is the front, one of the front pockets. This front pocket holds my sanitizer, napkins, hand sanitizer, also have gum, my keys, a hair tie that fell down. I also have uh, more gum. I have a shoehorn. Uh, chopstick and yeah did I show my keys I have a bowl so yeah that's what I've got in this compartment which comes in handy because I can just stick my hand in here and get the hand sanitizer fast for when I'm on the bus it has two zippers so it opens like this in the next compartment right in front here I have this little horsey which I got from Kid in Kindergarten <laughs> and it's a uh, reflective oh, highways horse this also opens like this into here and this one 
is very much women. So we've got this one, which is just female products. <laughs> Necessities that you really need some in the barn if something appears. Then I have my headlight, which is not the best headlight because those ones I use on hacks, but it's not that dark. Uh, right now to go on hacks but when we get back to the barn it's kind of getting darker so if we have to take the paddock after this is handy then I've got some gloves which are like one-time gloves if we need them these are this is my portable charger because you never know when you run out of battery on your phone or anything so this one is up here and this handy thing is for it not to get cold in the winter and I just kept it in there anyway if it's not winter yet this it will be cold really soon so yeah then I also got my two first aid kits in here this one only is i know you americans call it plus no band-aids and in britain they call it plasters and in norway we also call it plaster so we've got the one for if you've got blisters from shoes or we got a lot of them if we just cut fingers or something at the bottom handy then we also got this uh, first aid kit, which is more like bangle, um, one time gloves, a mask you can wear if you have to give mouth to mouth to someone, which looks like this, and a, I don't have the word for it right now, but you can all see what it is, a teaser, tweezer, yeah, a tweezer, some bandage and some compression stuff if you really hurt yourself so that is what's in this first aid kit and then it also has like this thing here so I just got my pocket knife two markers and a pen so that is what's in this first compartment of the bag and even though i got so much here it doesn't look stuffed which from the side it really doesn't look stuffed so i really like that then we are over to because we've got two compartments here as well so we're over to the middle compartment which opens up really big here i just have toilet paper because Sometimes at the barn, the toilet runs out of toilet paper and I don't want to be the one who's sitting there without toilet paper. Anyway, toilet paper. Then I've got some highways and I got some forks and a spoon. And this is just if blood sugar gets really low at the barn. That is what I keep in that compartment. Oops, or a pocket if you can call it that. and then we've got the biggest compartment which is in the back and what's good about this one is that it opens all the way up like this so when I pack my clothes in here I can actually lie them in layers so I don't have to like it doesn't need to be wide it just stacks in the height of the bag and in here we also got pockets here is just a mesh pocket which i don't have anything in this is i think this might be for keys or something but and in this this mesh pocket i've got my back on track gloves and my back on track um insoles because they are very handy in the winter when it starts to get cold so I'm just going to keep them in there. And it also has a back pocket here, but I don't have anything in it. 
but the future that it actually opens all the way down to the bottom is for me very handy so i actually don't have to like look at my clothes if i need something i could just open the whole thing and it was actually not that easy to close it with the water bottle in it there we go and also have one pocket in here more like a mesh mesh pocket with a welcome or not like fully mesh but with this and you can open it and it's all the way down to here i don't have anything in that either but i think that if you have wet clothes or something you can put it in then it also has here on the side it has a pocket for my water bottle which is the best water bottle you can get keeps still uh, uh water cold for 24 hours and it doesn't have the same pocket on the other side it also had this feature as you can put these on clip it together so it doesn't really look massive which I told you I really do like the future on that and it has it on both sides so yeah but what I really do love about this is because I walk back and forth to the barn usually and sometimes at the evenings there is no bus at all so sometimes i really have to run the old backpack didn't have any support when i ran so it sort of slipped whenever i ran down the road to catch the bus which is veronica style but this one has a really good adjustable uh, straps but it also got these things on here as well so you can clip together over your chest which is life saving when you are running to the bus. So it like sticks on your sticks on your um, body, and it also has the same thing at the bottom here around your waist. So I love that. That future is probably one of my favorite futures on the backpack, to be honest. So yeah, that's the Maya Dolores Kevin Groom bag from Maya Dolores. The price is a little bit pricey, it's called 999 kroners. Um, but it's totally worth it because I really love this backpack. I've used it now once at the barn and it's totally better than the other one. So I definitely recommend the backpack because all of the pockets, all of the futures on it and yeah, I really do love it. So this is what I am going to be holding on for for probably the next three years until it gets, gets gross and I have to change it out again or I get a car but I think it wouldn't be that gross if I get a car then I can keep it in the car but anyway that's the video for today really just wanted to show you this backpack because I really love it and recommend the brand Maya Dolores so yeah i hope you like this video there will be a vlog next week um going to the barn this week uh starting on tomorrow which is a new vlog week so hopefully i get some footage to show you this week i was sick so i was only at the barn two of the days um no i was i was at the barn monday and i was at the barn friday but i didn't do anything on friday and monday i had a lesson so it wasn't that easy to film a vlog so yeah, I will see you again in my next video and until then, bye.